This is Twit. So Pixel 6, it looks like, is going to be powered by a Google-made chip. This might be a trend happening in the uh, mm -hmm. tech industry. Apple, of course, has always made the iPhone chips, but now they're making their desktop chips. Google and almost all, I, I, almost all the other Android manufacturers have not, you know, been using, Google's been using Qualcomm chips. Samsung, I think, is the only one that makes their own chips, the Exynos. And in yeah. fact, it looks like Google's, Whitechapel chip will be made in partnership with Samsung. It's not going to be an Exynos, uh, but it will be Google's own. There are real advantages if you're a big enough company to do this and you have the wherewithal to do this. There have been some rumors that Microsoft might be doing uh, their own thing as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, there's been a lot of uh, rumors about that. And Google, I think, and Amazon, too, they've been doing stuff in the in the server space which is, right. I'm curious to see. So they already have designers on hand. <laughs> right, so that's, that's what I'm kind of curious about looking at this one, because it'll obviously be an ARM chip, but I'm, I'm curious to know like if this is going to be a cut down, maybe like variant of what they're building for their cloud servers, or if this is just a completely different area. Nine but it to makes five, sense. Nine to five Google says that uh, they've seen documentation that says this false pixel phones will be powered by Google's Whitechapel platform so i would think it'd have to be pretty far along the pixels mm -hmm. come out in oct september october time frame so they've got to be i mean they've got to be close to a final design if not they're going to get sued they're going to get sued why would they yeah, get sued pemberton pemberton davis and penny jones <laughs> is that made up that's made up no that's white chap on a tv show oh okay come there on. you go yeah, you're oh. To back me up, oh i get it <laughs> is that a british tv show yeah, it's good. You should know it, Ian. Ian's always pushing. Uh, honestly, I've I've been watching Peaky Blinders of late, but other than that, I've been show. staring clear of British television because Britain is going slightly insane at the moment. So. <laughs> oh, no, this show is older. I want to say like 2010, 2013. -ish. I remember the name, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably on Amazon. On it's on, oh, it's, oh, it's on, on Amazon. Prime. All right, I'll watch yeah. it. Uh, Whitechapel is uh, codenamed Slider, which is not a good code name. That's another movie reference. They're going to get yeah, again. sliders. Yeah, uh, slider is a shared platform for the worst for the first Whitechapel SOC, according to Nine to Five. The worst, the worst, and the first, yeah, first and worst. In, in this turn, is, this, go ahead. Sorry, this has been the problem with Pixel phones for a while now. I mean, when there was the Nexus range, they were they've been great. very Stripped generic. Down Android They're generic. Phones. Yeah. Easy to do. Yeah. Then they went the Apple route, and now it seems mm -hmm. like they're going back to. Their original roots, not very expensive, stripped down, still going on. But the new chip thing is going to be really interesting. The rumor I mean, is that they will be Android both Android. for Android devices and Chromebook Chromebooks. That make okay. That makes complete sense. What would be interesting to me about this, less so much like the some of the the prowess of the chip itself, because I'm assuming it's still going to be using just you know standard like ARM like, like be ARM. architecture. Yeah. Um, of course it will be, but I'm just saying like I'm, I'm assuming that it's you know going to be based on the existing platforms. Would be if they're doing certain stuff that the Google hard like the Google software is then explicitly going to be tuned to, right? Like that to me becomes the interesting case where you're saying, okay, are, are we building in some things into our hardware design that our software is going to be specifically tuned to around memory management or around, you know, like um, the way that we, you know, handle security or the way that we do AI or onboard, you know, processing or whatever. Because that's what makes the the Apple stuff so special is all the, the software and hardware integration. And if this is also going to be used on Chromebooks, that becomes really interesting too. And in my mind, lets me think, you know, and I've been predicting this for years and, and as of a lot of other people, but like this makes it seem like it's going to become much closer to getting that fusion between, you know, the Chrome OS and the Android platforms.